This is buffer dam used when running a single gel in the system. Here are the spacer plate and a short plate. These are also compatible with precast gel. This is the gel cutting card. We also provide two cones of 1.5 mm thickness and two cones of 1 mm thickness designed to create uniform sample. This is gel making base. Additionally, we provide two fabricated gel seals to simplify the gel making process. Let us discuss electrophoresis apparatus. The electrophoresis bracket holds glass plate during the gel casting and running. Here is the electrophoresis tank equipped with color coded electrode. Black for the negative terminal, red for the positive terminal. This is our western block which is featured with color coded marking. Black indicate negative side, red indicate positive side. Let us demonstrate the gel casting procedure. Take the electrophoresis bracket and move the card plate to the bottom position. Open the gland on the both side. Align the spacer plate and a short plate properly. Then place them inside the electrophoresis bracket as shown. If running a single gel, insert the buffer dam on the opposite side of the bracket. If running two gel, place the second one on the other side instead of buffer dam. Then close the casting unit properly. Place the electrophoresis bracket into the gel making base holder. Loosen the knob by rotating them outward. Position the bracket in the center, press it down and tighten the knob on the both side until fully secured. Load the gel solution into the chamber between the glass plates as per your experimental protocol. Insert the appropriate comb and allow the gel to be polymerized. Once the gel has set, loosen the knob, remove the electrophoresis bracket and place it in the electrophoresis tank. Now let us proceed with electrophoresis procedure. Insert the electrophoresis bracket into the tank. Add the buffer to the main chamber of electrophoresis bracket. Ensure the buffer level reaches to the edge of a concave glass at least 20 mm deep. Carefully remove the comb and load the sample into the well. Close the tank and connect to the power supply to start electrophoresis. Let us move to the western blot procedure. Use transfer clip with the color coded marking. Black indicates negative side. Red indicate positive side. This is our transfer blot with the color coding. Again, black indicate negative side and red indicate positive side. This is our buffer tank with the color coded indication and anti backless system. Follow this order for the transfer assembly. First, negative side that is black, then sponge, then filter paper then gel, then membrane, then again filter paper, sponge, then the positive side. Place the transfer clip into the transfer blot module ensuring that the red side of the clip aligns with the red side of the module. When the whole transfer blot assembly is completed, then take the buffer tank and Place the transfer module inside the buffer tank, aligning red for the positive and black for the negative. Starting the transfer, connect it with the power supply 